The Modular Detritiation System, or MDS, in Richland, Washington, is a prototype system capable of concentrating tritium in light water across a range of concentrations. The system combines electrolysis and catalytic exchange while releasing only hydrogen and oxygen with no liquid effluent. Construction of the unique facility was completed in December 2015, which includes the main MDS process area, a control room, laboratory, and various support systems. Located at what can be considered the start of the process are tanks two and three. These tanks represent the feed tanks that exist in a full-scale application and are used to feed batches of water into the system. After collecting in tank one, which serves as the primary concentration tank, water is then transferred to the electrolyzer. After being transferred to the electrolyzer, the water is split into oxygen and tritiated hydrogen via electrolysis. The oxygen stream is dried and then exhausted to the environment. The tritiated hydrogen is sent to the catalytic exchange column for additional processing. Within the full-scale catalytic exchange column, the tritium is transferred from the hydrogen gas flowing up the column to the water that is flowing down the column. The concentrated tritium is collected back in tank one and the clean hydrogen is discharged via the exhaust stack. The ventilation system maintains approximately 15,000 cubic feet per minute of flow to ensure the hydrogen and oxygen are diluted well below the lower flammability limits before being discharged. As part of operating the MDS system, a control room and laboratory are located adjacent to the process area. The control room allows for the MDS system to be controlled from a central location and adds to worker safety by minimizing the need to occupy the process area. Samples collected from the MDS system are analyzed with a liquid scintillation counter located in the laboratory. Sample results provide critical data that is used in monitoring and improving the MDS performance. In addition to the primary process components, several subsystems are required to support the MDS. Sampling of the tritiated hydrogen gas occurs within a recombiner enclosure. The tritiated hydrogen gas is combined with oxygen and forms tritiated water. This can then be collected and analyzed in the laboratory. Many of the support systems are located outside of the facility, such as cooling water, an air handling unit, argon gas, and compressed air. Veolia is pleased to invite potential clients to visit the facility and learn more about the modular detritiation system. Thank <laughs> you.